Welcome to the Grinning Goat. I'm Adbukta. Hey guys, this is Murps, and together we create content for Hearthstone Arena. Today is a very special day because we are launching the Feed the Goat campaign on Patreon. Officially launching it. It's been around for a couple days. People have found it and actually already started feeding the goat, which is awesome. But we're launching this Patreon campaign to support all of this Hearthstone Arena content that we have been creating. Uh, and to do that, we made a goat. And he is beautiful and majestic, as you can see here. And the more we all feed the goat, the more content there will be. You can visit the website for more details. Uh, the goat, we named him Gamble, haha, uh, represents our hopes and dreams for one day becoming professional content creators for the Hearthstone Arena community. And uh, that's why we have a goat. Yeah. Uh, so you guys should check out the link on the left there to see the goat's website. Uh, you'll see that we've built out a nice goal ladder for our content creation. There's articles, more stream times, more YouTube content, tier list upgrades, basically everything that you could want. So the more support that we get, the more we can put out in, uh, you know, in terms of additional high quality content. And as always, everything we produce will always be free. Uh, and there's even extra perks for our patrons, like monthly drawings to be coached for a full run on stream by me, shout outs on twitch panels banners or even on the podcast and special goat ranks and goat commands for twitch chat and even more than that yeah i mean i know people ask a lot about coaching so we're getting merps into this uh this like little coaching thing that we'll we'll ramp up to it and uh, the personal perks though overall are pretty small uh, relative to the amounts that they're at and that's by design we really want this patron to be about supporting the goat and progressing our content on that goal ladder on the left hand side uh, of the website rather than personal perks this is not meant to be a place where we try to sell you stuff uh, we set up the patron to provide a safe and transparent home for our goat where we can see how much uh, people like him. So uh, please click the link in the description. It's gonna pop up right over there and feed the goat. Feed the goat. All right, or, uh, or you can stick around and uh, we'll go on for a few minutes about some more transparency stuff and like the business side of this whole thing and uh, our particular path in the world and just other long-winded stuff. But you should go feed the goat. gone yet yeah i'm pretty sure most of them are gone okay all right let's start now for real this time for real okay for real so uh as you guys probably know we've been producing hearthstone arena content for the community for a long time now and for the last 15 months we have not been accepting donations um we never planned to change that but lately a lot of people have been asking about going pro which is becoming professional hearthstone content creators and streamers. Uh, people point out that right now, we have the highest viewer numbers of any non-professional streamer. And on top of that, we also have Hearth Arena responsibilities as well. Um, we have the second most popular Hearthstone podcast on iTunes, which is so cool, after less than a month. And Hearth Arena is the most popular Hearthstone website besides Hearth Pwn. And uh, plus, uh, Adwokta just finished up a super exclusive co-op with Crip. So, with all of this cool stuff, a lot of people uh, would say, yeah, you should go pro. People will go pro with less than that. Um, and you would think that we would be in a really good position to go pro, but it's not exactly the case. Yeah, that's uh, not how this works. I'm actually like we did the research over the summer and we crushed the numbers because uh, we were really like looking into it to see when things start getting bigger, like what what's the next step, right? And the truth is, it's really freaking hard to go pro. <laughs> I, I'm actually surprised that uh, anywhere near as many people do it as, um, as I see. Um, so we're, we're going to give you a little bit of our, what our research has uh, and our experience with it. Um, so three facts, and then we're going to tell a story. Uh, the first fact is we currently get paid near nothing. Uh, right now, our expenses related to the work we do, like the equipment, uh, Murps is getting a new computer, I have lights, microphones, uh, and the art, you see the grinning goat art, you have some of our uh, our thumbnails, um, all of that costs money, and it all of this added together, it's still outpacing our income, uh, including our small share of the Hearth Arena income. So yes, the grinning goat is still in the red, so to speak, and so far for 15 months of work, we are we have lost money. Um, and we've done that because we've just been investing money back into this. And that's that's how you do things at the beginning. And that's okay. 
Yeah. Um, so point number two, guys. Uh, ad money is worth nothing. I'm That's not... why we're still in the red. <laughs> yeah. I'm not exactly sure how other pro streamers do it, but unless you're big time like Trump, Crip, or Amaz, you basically get pennies for showing an ad on Twitch. So it's really not worth it. Um, and YouTube is the same deal. Uh, look at it this way. If you pitch in a dollar every month, that would be worth something like 50 times the money your views alone would get us. Uh, because between AdBlock and the ridiculous percent share that YouTube and Twitch takes, which is around like 50%, we get about $300 for 300,000 views last month. And $300, it's not nothing, right? It's pretty good for a hobby, but it's hardly anywhere near what it takes to make a living off of. Um, you know, we're being diligent. We're looking at sponsorships and they're better than ads, but they're numbers based and the rates are, once again, they're pretty low. And so you need that super, super high level of viewers to get anywhere. So ultimately, outside of the top streamers, most streamers and other content providers really do rely on significant direct support from the community to have any decent viable uh, total income. Uh, feed the goat. Uh, th third point is uh, just, I mean, we've said this before, but uh, it takes a lot of work to do all of this stuff, like more than I had originally thought. Just launching the podcast took like hundreds of hours of work. Um, so like really, but if, since October of 2014, besides working, eating, showering, and other necessities, uh, and, and the time that we spent on hiatus in, in May and June, uh, I have spent every waking moment at work, like my real day job work that actually pays me money, uh, and uh, and doing Hearthstone work. So five to ten hours a week of free time just to not burn out, have a real life, drink a little, um, but giving up all uh, like everything else for a year and I'll, I'll do it for another year uh, at least um, just to see where it goes even the vacation just give you an idea of how all in we I am uh, even the vacations that I've taken and I get pretty generous vacation time for my work uh, that has been timed very strategically with Blizzard's expansions like I wait until they announce the expansion date and I, I call my boss and I go hey I need to be off like this week is that okay uh, just so I, because that's around the time when Hearth Arena really needs me and I really need uh, to like get everything done and put all the numbers in or everything falls apart. So you know, just one project after the next, uh, no rest really. And that's why you'll never see us at PAX or TwitchCon or BlizzCon. We don't have time to do things like that. Yeah, and just to show you guys how crazy I am as well, um, not only will Advocta continue, continue that same ridiculous schedule for the next year but i'm coming along for the ride uh on the same exact insane schedule so what is this this is crazy us taking this hearthstone thing seriously and um just seeing where it takes us guys yeah uh so we're, we're all in on this uh currently we call ourselves semi-pro hopefully going full pro but we'll see and it could it could take a little bit of time right this isn't going to happen overnight um so now for for the story right of how all this is going to happen you may wonder, and you're right to wonder, with this high barriers of entry and all this work already and having no money, how does anyone even become a pro streamer? Because it happens, right? People make uh, you know decent livings off being pro streamers, and uh, some people um, really do make it. Well, the path of 90% of professional streamers goes uh, one of two ways. Um, one is you start streaming in high school or college and there's just a ton of free time you get a few hundred thousand bucks a month this is a ton of money it's really pretty good and you build up your viewers your subs whatever and then after at the end of uh, high school or at the end of college or in the, even in the middle of college you just think okay this is really a pretty good job right i could graduate and get like a you know 50k a year job or something or i can do this and maybe in a couple years like even beat that mark uh while having very little risk you can always start your career later you can go back to college if this fails um in the meantime you can just like live in your parents basement and save on money and really it's like it's a it's it's not a bad way to make a living at that point in your life uh, or to your life coach and you're already 100 percent financially independent for whatever reason and so this is really just something you love to do and you don't need any money uh to support yourself yeah and sadly we don't fit into either of those boxes um giving you guys kind of a window into our lives uh, both Advocate and I, we're almost 30. Um, our lives are probably much closer to your lives than the lives of professional gamers when they first turn pro. Um, every day we wake up, 
we go to work, we come back, we eat dinner, and we have about three hours to relax before we should be getting ready for bed and the next work day. Um, we're very happy, you know, we graduated from high school and college and went on to get grad degrees from top universities. And uh, right now we have legit careers. And I don't think it's an exaggeration to say that we're both at the top of our respective professions. So when it comes to going pro, pay cut is fine. We will totally accept the pay cut, but we don't really want to have the option to <laughs> to go live in our parents' basements. I, I mean, it's like it's an option, right? I'm sure my mom will take me in. She won't like you know leave me hanging. Mm -hmm. But that's not mm -hmm. like you know, I'm almost 30 years old. That's not what what we're doing. Um, so fortunately, all that stuff Murph's just said it means nothing because we don't play games because they're easy. We like to turn the difficulty up in pretty much any game we play anyway, right? We play games because they're hard. We didn't start Hearth Arena because it was fun to sit around and make algorithms in our free times. We made it because no one could make an algorithm as good as we thought we were going to be able to do. And we were right and we did it. So I promise that if we go pro, the impact will not be a feel-good story about a streamer making it. The impact will be to change the very way that the game is played. Whether it's the game of professional Game, cre uh, game content creation, whether it's the game of Hearthstone Arena, um, the game is going to change if we go if we end up making this work and going pro. So, so what if it's a little harder for us to go pro? Uh, so what if we have to sacrifice a little bit more? And if we're going to blaze down this whole new path to work our way into the industry, well, it wouldn't be the first time that we did something that no one's been able to do. Right, either in terms of Hearthstone or gaming or in the rest of our lives. Uh, it wouldn't be the first time that we changed the game. So I'm going to go on record here with the announcement that I will take a 50% pay cut for the privilege of doing all this full-time and seeing how it goes from there. So that is the final target of the Feed the Go campaign and our patron campaign. Yeah, guys. Um... So on that note, uh, please visit our Patreon website and help pitch in to feed the goat. We really appreciate, like really appreciate any and all support we can get. And if you're not in a good financial situation right now, look, we completely understand, but just know that it's just as helpful to spread the good word about our content and helping our visibility by liking, upvoting, sharing, et cetera. Um, yeah, we've been doing- exaggerating, that is just as helpful. Yeah, um, it, it would really help bring visibility to us. And we've been doing the legwork on our end too, um, hunting down sponsors, accountants, lawyers, multiple agents, and just trying to put together all the pieces. And hopefully when all the dust settles, um, the goat and everything else added together will be able to free us to do what we want to do the most of, which is to provide high quality Hearthstone Arena content for the community. Yeah, we're, we're ramped up for the fall. You're going to see uh, a lot of changes coming uh, as, as fall progresses. And um, it's a good goat. We like them. So let's feed them well. Thanks, guys.